we're going to do our mixture of one cup of cottage cheese. Good protein. Now that can be a small curd or it can be your country curd. Either way, it doesn't make any difference. You can use a fresh spinach or you can use a frozen spinach. It's to be chopped and that also is one cup. Now just kind of spread it around a little bit. Okay, we're not mixing it yet. A fourth cup breadcrumbs. And we'll do the same to it. We'll just be sure it's covered around on the top. Now our garlic. One clove, or about a teaspoon. A half teaspoon salt. Sprinkle that around. And now we're ready for a mix. And as you mix, I always like to toss a bit. Just kind of mix and give it a little toss. And then you come around the bottom. Don't forget the bottom of your pan now as you pull that up from the bottom to get a very good mix on that. And that's it. All right, now we've already mixed some. We'll pull that out at this time. And we have our chicken breast. We're blessed in Spencer, Iowa, that we have a grocery store. In fact, we've got two of them that have regular meat departments where you can come in and you can say to the butcher a little ahead of time, I'd like a chicken breast with the skin on it. It's very special to have it, and they'll fix it all up for you. So that's what we have here. They're good size. Uh, you can make it a little smaller. Uh, ask him for the smaller chicken breast if you're doing a luncheon, perhaps, or this is ample for a nice dinner. Then you come in and you put your hand just under the skin, gently, just to make a pocket. See how that is? It's still connected. All right. And now we'll take back our spoon and we'll stuff it. And slip it on the inside and then push it to the end. The thing you want to be careful with when you do this is that you have it the same thickness throughout. So it isn't piled high in the center. I think we can take a little bit more on that now. Now see, I'm patting it down now. And the extra now is taken off here. Um, if you wanted to, if you have a favorite herb, you could put a rosemary in there, or a thyme, or oregano in there also. Now we're going to take a, a pepper. We like lemon pepper here, but you can take a regular pepper if you'd like, or if you'd like a seasonal salt, use that. And we're just going to put a real cover on here now. Cover it generously. Mm -hmm. and there we are, ready for the oven. 250 inside temperature of uh, 160. And it takes about 45 to 50 minutes. Now it depends on your oven and it will also depend on the size of your chicken breast. Come further into the kitchen now. We'll come to the stove. Mmm, mmm, is that fragrant? Oh, that smells so good. Oh, and look at the looks of that. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Very nicely done. Just perfect. And yours will be that way, too. It's very simple. Have you noticed that we have the parchment paper? We always try to avoid putting food directly onto aluminum foil and it bakes up very nicely. The aluminum foil is here too, just in case there happens to be a hole or something that gets the moisture underneath, so it's easier to clean our pans.